hello everyone hope are doing good in today's session we are going to see uh, in the chapter triangles and its properties exercise 10.4 this is the last exercise in this chapter and today we are going to see the sums in that exercise okay the first sum use pythagoras theorem to check which triplet would make a right angle triangle see they have given um, the three sides of a right angle triangle and we have to find out in that uh, subdivisions which which uh, triplet makes triplet in the sense uh, these three sides which make right angle triangle by using pythagoras theorem okay we all know that what is pythagoras theorem it says that the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides isn't it so by that uh, theorem we are going to see whether it makes the proper right angle triangle or not okay so we have to write by pythagoras theorem here in this picture we can see a b c is a right angle triangle and uh, which one is the hypotenuse that is the which is the longest side a c is the longest side so a c squared that is hypotenuse square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides that is one side is a b so a b square plus b c bc square so this is the pythagoras theorem right so here we are going to uh, apply these given sides okay see longest side is 10 cm and this is 8 and this is 6 okay so so in this ac squared i am going to apply this 10 squared and for the other two sides 8 squared plus 6 square anything you can write either this will be 6 or this one will be 6 okay so 100 square is sorry 10 square is 100 8 square is 64 plus 6 square is 36 so 100 is equal to 64 plus 36 is 64 plus 36 it makes 100 right so yes it is a this given triplet is a right angle triangle because it proves the uh, pythagoras theorem what square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the hypotenuse so this is 100 is equal to 100 we are getting so the given sides are uh, given sides make a right angle triangle okay and the next is sum 7 comma 24 comma 25 so by pythagoras theorem same thing ac squared is equal to ab squared plus bc squared that is hypotenuse squared here uh, which one will be the hypotenuse by seeing itself we can say probably it is 25 squared which is equal to 7 squared is one side and 24 is another side so 25 squared is 25 into 25 625 okay so 625 is equal to 7 squared is 49 and 24 squared is odd 6 one 8 4 2 0 8 9 4 2 0 8 1 4 4 4 4 4 so getting 576 so 625 is equal to 576 plus 49 you will get 5 8 2 1 we will get 625 so again the given triplets makes a proper right angle triangle okay so next is third problem what is the third problem 8 comma 12 comma 
also see in all the problems you have to write by pythagoras theorem okay the pythagoras theorem what hypotenuse squared is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides okay so 16 is the hypotenuse 16 square is equal to 8 square plus 12 square so 16 square is what 16 into 16 6 6 are 36 3 9 6 1 is 6 1 is 6. so 256 is the square of 16 so 8 squared is 64 plus 12 squared is 144 so 256 is equal to 144 plus 64 it gives 4 plus 4 8 and 4, 6 plus 4 is 10 208 oh it is not equal to this square of the hypotenuse so from this we can write no it cannot form a right angle right angled triangle okay right angle have you understood children here also in the previous problems also we have to write hence the triangle is right angled hence it can make and make a right angled triangle okay children and the first sum also I have to write yes can make a right angled triangle okay right angled have you understand children how to use this Pythagoras theorem? Next we will go to the second problem. Mm, sorry, one more subdivision is there in the first problem. This is fourth one. 3.5, 12 and 12.5. Okay. So here the hypotenuse will be 12.5. Right. So by Pythagoras theorem what same that ac squared is equal to ab square plus bc square okay so here hypotenuse is 12.5 the whole square ab squared is 3.5 the whole square plus 12 square let us see what is 12.5 and 12.5 just multiply it 5 5 are 25 carry over to 5 2 are 10 10 plus 2 12 5 1 is 5 plus 6 25. Next, 5 2 is 10, carry over 1, 2 2 is 4 plus 1 5, 1 2 is 2. Next, 1 5 is 5, 1 2 is 2, and 1. 5 2, 16, 1, 4, 1. So, here we have to keep two decimal places, right? You see in the 12.5, one decimal place is here, and for the 3.5, we have to keep another decimal place so we will have to keep two decimal places so we are getting uh, sorry yes 12.5 into 12.5 now we we will get two decimal places so 144 146.25 which is equal to 3.5 we will have to find out now 3.5 into 3.5 5 5 is 25 5 3 is 15 uh, plus 2 is 17. So 5 3 is 15, 1, 3 3 is 9 plus 1, 10. So 5, 12, 2, 1. So here also we have to keep 3 is 3.5 for this thing. 1 3.5 you have to keep 1 decimal and again 1 3.5 are multiplying. So we have to keep 2 decimal places. So 12.25 plus 12 into 12 is 144 okay so 144 now we have to add this 144 keep two decimal places of uh, point zero zero 
to add this 12.25 i am just keeping this 00, 0 there is no value for this but we have to subtract it from this 144 so i am keeping this uh, decimal place and after that i am adding two zeros okay so what you will get here will come 10 then here will be 9 here on 10 will be there and borrowing from this 4 so 10 minus 5 is 5 again here will be 9 so 9 minus 2 is 7 so here will be 3 so 3 minus 2 is 1 uh, 4 minus 1 is 3 and 1 will come down here as 1 so I am having 131.75 right but this is not equal to 146.25 Hence, the triplets cannot make, hence, it cannot make a right angle triangle, okay, right angle triangle, okay children, we will meet in the next session and don't forget to subscribe our Wonder Max, Max made easy channel, thank you.